Man, that sounds good. So you guys know I'm a big fan of keyboards. Got plenty of them. So today we're here to check out another keyboard. A keyboard that I purchased from Newfie. I'm a big fan of Newfie products, but what I'm not a fan of is their shipping time on this product. Now in all fairness, when I ordered this product, it was a pre-release. So I basically that means it's not available for sale yet and they ordered it. So I knew it would be at least a month out, but four or five weeks ago, people started getting their keyboards, started getting reviews up, and I'm like, what's going on? Reached out to Nufi. Apparently my emails got lost in the system. It took them three weeks to get back to me, and this just shut up in my house a few days ago. I'm recording this on the uh, 22nd of March. So that is a first with me and Nufi, but that is also a first time I've ordered a pre-production product. So just know that if you order pre-production stuff or, or pre-sale type things, just know there could be a delay. True to Nufi fashion, it did show up in this shiny bubble wrap. As you can see, we got a lot going on here. I thought I ordered a keyboard that was fully assembled. This is a lot more parts than a fully assembled keyboard normally comes with. So looks like we might be building a board today. All right, so before we dig into this, we have a sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Aura. Aura is a personal protection software designed to protect you, your personal information, from the internet. I have personally been using Aura for quite a while now. My biggest thought right up front is I went from having eight to 10 spam calls a day down to one or two max, but they have a lot of different other services as well. So their main service is data broker removal. What they do is they get a hold of data brokers that are all over the world, not just the US, and they send them a letter telling them, hey, this person doesn't want their information there, it needs to be gone, and they'll get it removed. I mean, data brokers, it's an entirely legal service. They'll buy and sell your information as soon as they get it. But once Aura steps in and gets rid of it, you'll be in the clear. So on top of the data broker sales, you also get a VPN, identity theft protection, credit monitoring. You get all that for a super low price every single month. Here's the price up here. You guys know how we like to show prices on this channel. Next up, Aura is allowing me to give you guys a two week free trial. So get out there, give it a try. Check out the links down below. All you can gain is a little bit of safety, a nice free two week trial. And then if you like it, make sure to hop in and get it yourself. If you already pay for a VPN, antivirus software, any of that, this is probably cheaper for all of the services in one than you pay for the one service. So again, go check it out in the links down below. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the keyboards. Okay, so first, what all do we have here? Again, I expected a keyboard in a box ready to rip. So, starting left to right, here we go. Looks like we have the Mystic Indico Gem 80 PBT keycaps right there. It looks like we have a couple of transparent keycaps. It's called the MSA Profile 8 piece. I'm gonna double check and see what I ordered. And if I did, I'm gonna throw the prices up as I name these off. I really thought this was a whole set, but again, I did order this a couple months ago. So we have ourselves an accessory box. No idea what's in there. Then we have our switches. So right here, these are the normal profile mint switches. I don't seem to have a lot of other information on them other than they're called the mint switches. Hashtag 37GF linears. Here's some more stats on the back. So we have a five pin operating force of 37 plus or minus 15. Uh, let's see, travel distance two plus or minus 0.5 millimeters. Total travel 3.6. Again, if you guys want these stats, well, I'll make sure to get them up on screen here. I normally like to focus on the overall quality and feel of the board itself, but some people do like those stats. If you guys do, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to focus more on those stats and what they mean in future videos to help you guys out. And then next up we have, that's pretty heavy. So this is the keyboard kit, the Gem 80, normal profile, Gem series. Let's see what kind of data we have on the back here. So on the back, it tells what we have in the box. We'll get into that in just a little bit anyways. Weight, 2.47 pounds. Definitely feels like it. She's got some weight to her. And I went with the Obsidian Black and SI layout. So you know what? I say we start with the accessories box. Let's dig into it. I'm guessing this is probably gonna have the cables and stuff like that in it, but we'll see. I have never personally bought a keyboard from Newfie before that wasn't kind of pre-assembled. So there's gonna be a fun little, fun little setup here. Oh. This is a plate. This is not what I thought it was. Okay, so this right here is actually the extra plate. I did order this. 
I believe this was about 15 bucks. We'll throw the price up here just in case I get it wrong. Now, I mean, that is a full aluminum CNC plate. That's pretty sharp. So this is gonna help change the sound profile, the stiffness, just there's a whole bunch that a plate does. It really just overall changes the sound and feel of the entire board. I don't remember exactly why I ordered another plate. I think it was just there and I'm like, well, I wanna check it out. So I checked the box. All right. Next up, we have some transparent keycaps. We'll pop them open real quick. I'm not entirely sure why I would have ordered an extra set of keycaps. Yeah, again, Newfie doesn't send me keyboards. I've reached out to try to work with them a couple times. They kind of just ignore my emails, but that's all right. We'll buy them anyways. So it's definitely a fully transparent bar, as you can see. If I get it over some of the uh, white stuff in the image here, they're cool looking little keycaps. So set those off to the side for now. All right, next up, let's slide open the whole keycap set. Now, my purpose for ordering this board is one, Newfie makes a new board. I wanna review it. I wanna check out all their boards. I like seeing what they do. And they're kinda of just known for their overall quality in the industry. They don't get too much flack. They don't really have too many issues. Biggest issue I've heard with Newfie is if you wanna return stuff to them. Sometimes that can be a bit of an issue because you do have to cover return shipping to China. And that's never cheap or fun. All right, so these are the Gem Series keycaps. We'll just get a quick look here. We'll get a better look at them once they're on. You see right here, they are MSA Profile Double Shot PBT keycaps. I mean, you know, pretty decent looking keycap. I do like the white accent keys. I like me an accent key. What can I say? You can see that they're double shot. They got a really solid build to them. I feel like a nice quality. I like the matte finish on them. But, you know, as far as the video goes, not a ton to look at here. Now, I've become a big fan of the linear switches. When I first started doing this channel, I was all about the super loud, clicky keycaps and clicky switches. And I grew out of that phase real quick once I felt true quality with a linear switch. It's just, there's something about the, the clackiness to it that's really hard to beat. All right, so this is a mint keycap switch right here, 90 pieces, linear. Again, here's all the stats. If you guys want to see them, you go ahead and pause the video. Hmm. Interesting smell to them. Not bad, it's just I noticed it as soon as I opened, opened the box. Got kind of a manufacturing scent to it. All right, looks like we have ourselves a gasket of sorts here too. This might just be for shipping, but that's some pretty decent gasket material. I mean, that's definitely not gonna fit inside the board, but you know, if you want to really customize the sound, you just cut out the strips you need, add them in as you like. I don't think I'm gonna to need to do that with a board like this, but. All right, so on the bottom, as we can see, it is the five prong. I mean, they're a neat looking switch. Super quiet on their own. And they feel very smooth. I don't know if these are lubed or not, but they feel like they are. That's a very smooth switch from what my novice opinion can tell. Let's get into the, uh, the main entree, if you will. Again, here's what comes in the box and the dimensions. If you guys want to see that, just go ahead and pause the video right there. It's a little different from my last few Newfie boxes. Again, normally when I get boxes from Newfie because of the way they're shipped, the corners are usually a little banged up, but I have yet to find any damage inside of the actual setup. Oh, I like the unboxing here though. Let's start with the, uh, let's start with what they got. This is a pretty monster booklet here. You got a quick guide, installation guide, a Q and A, that's an interesting one. Okay, so the Q and A basically is some common issues you might have and how to fix them right off the bat. I have a nice little inclusion there. The installation guide, let's see how she looks. Cause this is probably gonna be a fairly decent guide here. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good, I like that. Yeah, we have ourselves a full gasket mounting installation guide right here. Whoa, woo. We got ourselves some fancy silk feeling stuff here with like a little, oh, it's a pull tab. So if you just pull this tab up, the board comes right to your hand. Hey, that feels, that feels pretty nice. All right, so inside this first box, oh, it does come with a nice coiled cable, look at that. Heck yeah. It's got the uh, Newfie logo right there on the actual cable. 
Hey, that's a really nice cable. I like that a lot. That's sharp. USB-A to USB-C. Very nice. And then it says it comes with a toolbox. Okay, well, this is new. Let's start from the right on this one. So we have some silicone strips. Some silicone beans. Some foot pads. Silicone socks. Top mount and screw. And then some more silicone beans. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty cool experience overall. I mean, it's got the full build guide, which we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna bring a chair in here, we're gonna get comfy. As with most higher end mechanical keyboards, got a really nice cap, key cap and switch puller right here, nice. And it even comes with its own little included screwdriver with a VT8 tip. There we go. It's got a nice swivel end on it too. Nice little attention to detail, very cool. This wrap, I can't explain it, but this thing just feels nice. So let's, let's get the good reveal. You guys ready? Oh, wow. I mean, there's not even really much going on in here just yet, but that looks really good. Oh, it looks like my little Gem 80 logo was kind of falling out there. It looks like it's magnetic. I wonder why. Yeah, the little gem logo right there is magnetic. It's got a red variant of the switch in here too. It feels like it has a little bit more resistance than the, uh, the teal variant there, the mint. I mean, that's... Okay, they did, they did good on this. It smells like a, like a brand new car kind of smell. Whew, that looks so good, look at this. This is an all aluminum chassis. This is, this is kind of a first for me. I have some all metal housings, uh, Mike. They're just, they're different. They're, they're not quite built to this level. Okay, let me get a chair. I'm gonna get sit down, I'm gonna get comfy, and we're gonna, we're gonna rock through this build. All right, if we're gonna do this right, let's go ahead and get the build guide out. We'll get our parts separated in front of us, and we'll just kind of jump into it. Overall, putting a board together is pretty simple. I just kind of want to follow their instructions and see what they got for us. We'll probably throw some music on for this part and speed it up for you. Switches in as you can see she's looking sharp god I love that black and black and mint black and teal combo what a good color choice I'm gonna go ahead and leave the red and the yellow in here as well it does come with about five extra switches we're gonna go ahead and leave those right in the box and then we'll hop on over to doing the keycaps here in just a second this is realistically something I should have done before sticking all the switches in but let's see what we can see anyways All right, so coming onto the inside here, first thing you'll notice, you have this really nice foam gasket right here underneath. And then right below it, you have another really nice foam uh, pyramid tape pattern. Ah, oh, this is all rubber, that's very nice. This is gonna help reflect sound back in certain ways, basically different sound profiles that they have. And if we put this here, so basically, this plate right here is a replacement for this plate that's currently on there. So if you feel like going with the bright, shiny silver, basically it would kind of go in there like that. Me, I love the black look. I'm not even sure why I ordered this. Tell you what, if somebody here can use this and you guys ordered one of these boards, let me know. We'll get it out to you. Do a little, do a little giveaway on the extra plate that I ordered and didn't need. But this, this, uh, 
this FR4 plate on here looks, looks awesome. So now as far as all these other um, pieces and components goes, so this one right here, these are called the silicone socks. So if you wanna replace these or change the way those go, they go right here. They go right on the edge of these little guys right here. That's what those go. Next up, you have the foot pads. That's pretty self-explanatory. It goes in the bottom of the case, different foot pads. Then you have your top mounting gaskets and some extra screws and another screw head. Now, if you wanna change up the sound a little bit more, you have these things right here. These are called silicone beans. Those slot right here into the metal plate. It'll basically change the area the sound transfers from the actual PCB into the rest of the chassis. Again, these are all just little ways you can change, dampen, or mitigate different sounds to really just tune the keyboard down to exactly what you like. I'm gonna go ahead and leave most of the stuff exactly the way it is. But it also allows you to take this kit and you can mount the board directly to the front faceplate. There's, there's basically just a lot of things you can do and really all those different things are going to change the overall sound profile of the board itself. But me personally, I wanna see how it sounds basically right out of the box. Given out of the box is a little bit of a different meaning this time. So let's go ahead and slap her back together here. So to put it together or take it apart, it's the exact same way I did it earlier. You have 10 screws right on the bottom. Shouldn't be too much to watch for, shouldn't be anything it can really bind up on, but you know, be careful if something doesn't feel right. Open it back up, take a second peek. start to finish took about 25 minutes to put it all together man that's a good looking board look at that all right so with the keycaps we have a couple extra keycaps going on here if we take a look these are the unused ones these are going to be enough for me to put on my external numpad but now it's time for the sound test let's check it out brought to you by unbox analysis Okay, I gotta say, I am in love with the sound of this board. Um, I've been kicking over which board to be running on the system, the main system for a little while, and uh, I think this is probably gonna be it just from that sound profile alone. Now let's go into a couple of things with the board. The look, it's clean, it's phenomenal. You have this really nice metal cap on it. The bottom feels like an ABS plastic. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's got the feet on the bottom, and then it has a different type of feet. No adjustable though. So if you like adjustments, if you want you know, your board to sit a little bit higher, a little bit lower, you're not gonna have that with this one. Although I do believe the feet thickness here, the ones you can add to it, 
are a little bit thicker than the ones that are currently on there. So you can just peel those off, slap the new ones on. But again, no adjustable height for this. You have a USB type C right up here. And this one here, I believe is also, it's not wireless. You do have a switch here for Windows and Mac. That is the only really switch on the entire board. Man, that sounds good. All right, here comes the quick typing test here. Oop, let's restart that one. Wow, let's look at that. Even with a few mistakes, <laughs> having to go back, this keyboard is fast. Uh, I've never typed in it. I'm typing at kind of a weird angle and I had 114 words per minute on my first go. Um, technically second go. I did start one a second before and as soon as I started, my hands were in the wrong spot, instantly all red, so I just restarted real quick. But something about the way these keys and this setup is, it's just, it's, it feels, it feels fast. That's not something I've ever quite experienced with a board before. I've never had a board feel fast. That is, that's nifty. So these are some impressive switches. They sound fantastic and they just, that might be one of the best sounds I've ever had from a keyboard. Just listen to it. All right, well that's been my build and my review of the Nufi Gem 80. So again, thank you Aura for sponsoring this video, guys. Seriously, go down below, check out that two week free trial. I'm not kidding when I say I use it. I was actually using it a couple of weeks before Aura even reached out to me. It was just great timing. It's really good to protect yourself. Start out with that two weeks and go from there. But that first two weeks, that's on Aura through the link down below. On top of which, if you guys wanna pick yourself up a Gem 80 or any other Newfie keyboard, I'm gonna have a link down there for 10% off. So get your butt down there, click on those links, both of those links are going to help the channel. Your support is always appreciated, but they're also going to help you. Let me know what you guys think about this keyboard and the sound. I freaking love the sound. But I think this is going in the setup, guys. Uh, if there's any other keyboards you guys want me to check out, anything else you want to know about this board or any other board I've reviewed, make sure to let me know. Throw your comments down there. Like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.